Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to all of you. On behalf of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Governments of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, I welcome you all at the closing ceremony of the Dhaka OIC Yacht Capital Film Award 2020-2021 under the umbrella of the Dhaka OIC Yacht Capital 2020. This event is in association with Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Islamic Cooperation Yacht Forum, Dhaka OIC, OIC Yacht Platform, and uh, Ministry of Youth and Sports. I am Nareen Mustafa, your host of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, as you will all appreciate, we are all in an era where everyone has a screen to view any kind of video. Film industry is essentially the most influential sector in the modern society. Sitcoms and comedy shows, they make us laugh. Psychological thriller, they help us understand the new perspective of the world. Historical film, they make us understand the evolution of men. And documentary, they help us see and understand the society, the environment, and the list goes on. A good film can certainly educate us, it can inspire us, and it can also help us broaden our horizon in thinking perspective. It can certainly make us compassionate as well. And I have also seen that, that a good film can impact anyone to do something good for the humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, in this COVID-19 pandemic, it has changed the way of living worldwide. And during the time, people are now adapting to another lifestyle that is completely different from the pre-pandemic times. At this time, the film has been the major source of recreation for people staying inside the home. Hence, the importance of film has increased more than ever to keep the people motivated and guide society in the positive way. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are all gathered here to celebrate the films and celebrate young filmmakers through this platform. As you will all appreciate, today we have with us as the chief guest of the program, we will have with us very soon, our Honorable His Excellency, Mr. Hassan Mahmoud MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. On this auspicious occasion, we have virtually His Excellency, Mohammed Zahid Hassan Rasil MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports. His Excellency, Mohammed Murad Hassan MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Virtually, we shall also have His Excellency, Mr. Taha Ayhan, Honorable President, Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, ICYF. And we shall also virtually connect with His Excellency, Mohammed Akhtar Hussein, Senior Secretary, Ministry of Youth and Sports, as our special guest for this ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we shall now commence this event and to do so, we will start by a recitation from the Holy Quran. To do the honor, I would like to request on stage Maulana Rabiul Islam to kindly do the recitation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمة الله عليكم إذ كنتم أعداء فألف بين قلوبكم أعداء فألف بين قلوبكم فأصبحتم بنعمته إخوانا وكنتم على شفا حفرة من النار فأنقذكم منها كذلك يبين الله لكم آياته لعلكم تهتدون صدق الله العظيم Translation Hold on family together to the roof of God 
and be not divided among yourselves and remember the favors god best wait on you when you are on another's for and he reconciled your hearts and you turned into brethren through his grace you had stood on the edge of a pit of fire and he saved you from it I would like to call upon on stage Her Excellency Khadiza Begum, Additional Secretary, Admin and Film, and Convener, Film Festival Implementation Committee, to introduce us to today's event with her welcome speech. Please welcome Her Excellency Khadiza Begum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's chief guest, His Excellency Dr. Hassan Mahmoud MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Special guest, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. His Excellency Mr. Mohammad Jahid Hassan Rasul MP. Special guest, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Murad Hassan MP, Special Guest, President of Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, His Excellency Mr. Taha Aihan, Special Guest, Honorable Senior Secretary, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, His Excellency Mr. Muhammad Akhtar Hussain, Honorable Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, and today's Chair of the Ceremony, his Excellency Mr. Mohammad Mogbul Hussein, distinguished guests, honorable delegates, beloved participants from our country and abroad, representatives from print and electronics media, all well wishers, and everyone present here today. Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. It is a tremendous honor for me to be able to offer my heartiest welcome to you all on today's auspicious occasion. First of all, I would like to express my heartiest gratitude to the father of our nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, greatest Bengalis of all time, under whose passionate leadership and striving commitment we have our independence and Bengali identity. The vision of Shonar Bangla, meaning a prosperous Bangladesh, is the vision of our father of nation. It is a great opportunity for me to share that under the vigilant leadership of the daughter of the father of nation, our honorable prime minister, Sheikh Hasina, Bangladesh has graduated from least developed country status by United Nations declaration. Our country is now a role model of development for many developing countries around the world. And we are now pursuing to attend the Shonar Bangla as dreamed and aspired by Bangabandhu. I would also like to commemorate the life's efforts and sacrifices of the valiant freedom fighters and the martyrs who fought to liberate our beloved nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the year 2021 is a momentous year in the history of our beloved nation because the whole nation is celebrating the birth ceremony, the birth centenary of the father of nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. This year is also special for Bangladesh because we are also celebrating the golden jubilee of our independence. And therefore, the recognition of Dhaka as the OIC youth capital during this year has multiplied the significance of the recognition. We are proud and delighted to organize such a momentous event on a joyous occasion of the year. Respected ladies and gentlemen, as we all know that film, popular or parallel, a visual art of storytelling with rich inputs of music, screenplay, cast and script mirrors the contemporary society in which it functions. Film has the potential not only to change human behavior, but also can effectively influence cultures and societies. Film helps to communicate imaginations, thoughts and emotion of its audiences, stimulates their senses while entertaining at the same time. And that is why we believe 
films can play an important role in shaping our nation today. In this film festival event, passionate youths around the world have dedicated their hearts and souls to produce inspirational films. And our honorable members of the jury board work tirelessly to select some of the best of the best films that reflect their ideas, imagination, and our society better. We are proudly gathered here to, to honor and recognize enthusiastic efforts of the young filmmakers for the next generation. With that being said, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum for giving us the opportunity to organize this platform. I would also like to thank Ministry of Youth and Sports, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and other members of the organizing committee for supporting us to organize this event. And last but not the least, thank you all the honorable members of the jury board, participants, volunteers, staffs, reporters, delegates, and our audience for being here today on such momentous occasion. I hope you will all enjoy this event. Thank you again for patience hearing. Allah Hafiz. Thank you very much, Your Excellency Khadiza Bacon, for introducing us to today's event. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the advent of our chief guest of this event, our very respectable His Excellency Mr. Hassan Mahmoud MP, Honorable Minister, Minister of Information and Broadcasting. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now present a promotional video highlighting the special moments of the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Award 2020-2021 journey. An inspirational journey, a journey to bring the competent filmmaker under one platform. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the audiovisual of Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Awards 2020 2021. Now, I would like to humbly request one of the legendary singer of the Asian subcontinent and film critic who is representing our honorable jury board of this festival. Please welcome. Rezvana Chodri Bonna to kindly share a few words.
Good afternoon. I extend warm greetings to all the distinguished guests. The President of OIC, His Excellency Taha Aihan, today's chief guest of this closing ceremony, Mr. Hassan Mahmoud, Honorable Minister for Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Today's other special guests, Dr. Mohammad Murad Hassan, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Mr. Zahid Hassan Russell, Ms. Uh, Mohammad Akhtar Hussain, and Mr. Masood bin Momen, and all the members of this International Jury Board, members of the Regional Jury Board of Bangladesh, all the dignitaries present for the closing ceremony of Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Award 2020-21. At the outset, I would like to express my sincere gratitude on behalf of my colleagues of this jury board and myself. To the organizing committee, Ministry of Information, Government of Bangladesh, for giving us such a special opportunity. Thanks to this event, we were granted the opportunity to watch around 200 or more short documentary films from all over the world. This experience has moved us, enriched us, and gave us immense joy. I would like to express my gratitude to the OIC on behalf of the citizens of Bangladesh for choosing Bangladesh as the host country this year for Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Award 2020-21. The year 2021 is no ordinary year for us as we celebrate the centenary of our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and the golden jubilee of Bangladesh's independence, this event highlights our country and our society for our love of art, culture, and creativity. This event gives us exposure and brings us in step with the global community of filmmaking and film appreciation. Film share a universal medium through which the human condition spills over our happiness, sorrows, laughter, tears, expectations, hopes and dreams, deprivation and despair, struggle for rights, etc. come alive as common and shared phenomena ideological differences, social and cultural differences, geographical dis dis distances can become equally capable tools of bringing us together through storytelling. These short documentary films, spanning one and a half to five minutes, have unparalleled portrayed amazing narratives diverse feelings and experiences of people around the world. Even more remarkable is the fact that this directorial team are all in their youth. These young people have demonstrated prose and very skillful expression beyond the emotions, love, protest, frustration and anger also came through hope, positivity, and all the dreams of a beautiful future. I congratulate all the filmmakers. We, the members of the jury board, have been enriched by the talent we were privileged to witness. The festival has been attended by creative young people from all over the world young people from countless countries from the developing and developed world have participated and proved that the desire to express oneself drives people towards art. The color of love or the pain of separation 
The anger of frustration or the language of protest are the same for a young man or woman in Palestine or a country in Latin America or a country in Africa. Human emotions are shared, understood and felt the same way. It is our common thread. In today's world, technology has brought people closer, made the world smaller. This age is the age of global citizens, shared culture and globalization in every sense of the word. While technology brings people closer, the term one world would remain an idea until we unite together with friendship, trust, understanding, respect, and tolerance. By arranging a festival like Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Award, I believe is a step forward towards building a future world of peace and harmony. Let this be our pledge on the golden jubilee of independence and centenary celebration of Mujib 100 years, let us open the hearts for one another, share art and creativity, and extend our hands of love and respect for all the people of this world. I express my sincere gratitude to all. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was from the eminent singer who have held the head of Bangladesh High globally through her melodious performance. Thank you, Rasvana Chaudhry Bonna, for your kind words. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now welcome our special guest for today's ceremony, Senior Secretary for the Ministry of Youth and Sports of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, His Excellency Muhammad Akhtar Hussain, to kindly virtually deliver his speech. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Honorable Chief Guest of today's closing ceremony of Dhaka YC Youth Capital Film Award 2021, His Excellency Dr. Hassan Mahmoud, MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Today's special guest, His Excellency Mr. Muhammad Zahid Hassan Rasel, MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Bangladesh. His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Murad Hassan, MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Bangladesh. His Excellency Mr. Taha Ihan, Honorable President of Islamic Cooperation Yod Forum. His Excellency Mr. Masood bin Momen, Honorable Senior Secretary, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Bangladesh. Chair of the event, His Excellency Mr. Muhammad Magbul Hussain, Honorable Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Bangladesh. Distinguished guests, officials from ICYF, different ministries and organizations, your delegates, members of jury board, participants, representatives of print and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum, and a very good afternoon to you all. First of all, I would like to pay my deepest gratitude and homage to the greatest Bengali of all times, our father of the nation, Bongo Bondu Sheikh Muzibur Rahman, the icon of Yod, under whose undisputed visionary leadership we got our coveted independence. I would also like to recall and pay my deepest respect to all freedom fighters who participated and sacrificed their life for our independence. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor and privilege for me to be here in this closing ceremony of Dhaka YC Yod Capital Film Award 2021 one of the important events of Dhaka YC Youth Capital 2020, organized by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting Bangladesh. It is a great recognition for Bangladesh as we own the coveted YC Youth Capital 2020 by proving our merit in matters related to innovation, sports, culture, and inclusive youth leadership. It makes a significant recognition for the dynamic and determined leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her spirited governments in the youth sector. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Bangladesh joined YC in 1974 under the potential leadership of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. And since then, it has been playing instrumental role in different activities of YC and promote the common interests of Muslim Ummah in different international fora. The YC Youth Capital 2020 is an important program for not only the YC and ICYF, but also for Bangladesh. It coincides with the birth century of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. The event is also significant for us in this year as we will be celebrating Golden Jubilee that, that is 50th anniversary of our independence. Ladies and gentlemen, we believe that each new life comes with a potential and a promise. Thus, as one of the mega events of Dhaka YC Youth Capital, Dhaka YC Youth Capital Film Award 2021 could offer the youth a great platform to showcase their talent as well as offer them the opportunity to connect and build up networks with their global counterparts to build a resilient and sustainable future for all. Dhaka YC Youth Capital Film Award 2020 one is a short film festival on documentaries where the youth join from the YC member states and beyond. Distinguished guests, film is considered to be an important art form, uh, form as a source of popular entertainment and a powerful medium for educating or indoctrinating citizens. The visual basis of film gives it a universal power of communication. Film is a reflection of society, both present and past. The film, its innovations sometimes have to catch up to society, but sometimes it leads society too. Films are stories come out with ideas about something people want to say, something they want to tell someone. Film is a form of communication and that communication stories come from societies, not just where society is presently and what it's doing now, but where society has been. It's been that way for as long as film have been around. Film is the most complex and powerful art from in the art form in the present world. It can help us to better understand our own lives the lives of those around us and even how our society and culture operate. They can shed light on political and spiritual matters too and can provide catharsis and perspective and may open our eyes to new ways of thinking, feeling and pursuing our lives. It's the combination of technology, business, entertainment and aesthetics, each and everything of these Four has important role in present day world and it's also visible in the variation of its forms. Young filmmakers from all over the world are making documentaries on many humanitarian crises. To provide them a proper platform, Dhaka YC Youth Capital 2020 has introduced this short film competition. This program has designed to bring all these young filmmakers together and highlight matters revolving parity and prosperity. This film award aims to bring together the young filmmakers and encourage them to raise their voice through their filmmaking skill and enhance their expertise through the process. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting for organizing today's closing ceremony of Dhaka YC Youth Capital award 2021 to mark an uh, important event of YC Youth Capital Dhaka 2020. I would like to express thanks to YC and ICOF once again for selecting Dhaka as the YC Youth Capital and convey my gratitude towards the global leaders and dignitaries for their wholehearted support. I would also like to express my hope and confidence towards the youth representatives of the YC member states and rest of the world. I hope that they will certainly make this world a better place than what it is now. Let me appreciate to all of you for responding our call 
and appearing in this pandemic situation. We hope YC Youth Capital 2020 will be a very successful event with all of your support and cooperation. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabandhu. May Bangladesh live forever. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency Muhammad Akhtar Hussain, for your inspirational speech. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome our special guest, His Excellency Mr. Taha Ayhan, the Honorable President of the Islamic Cooperation Yacht Forum ICYF, to kindly virtually deliver his speech. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear sister, for inviting me. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, my own greetings to the special guests of this August house and this wonderful ceremony. Uh, His Excellency Dr. Murad Hassan Bey, the Member of Parliament and the Honorable State Minister, Minister of Information and Broadcasting. His Excellency Zahid Ahsan Rushal Bey, Member of Parliament and the Honorable State Minister, Minister of Youth and Sports and the friend of ICYF. And the hero behind the scenes, which uh, enables the realization of uh, the, the OIC uh, Youth Capital of Dhaka 2021. And His Excellency Dr. Hassan Mahmoud Bey, Member of Parliament and Honorable Minister, Minister of Information and Broadcasting. His Excellency Mr. Ahsan Hussein Bey, the Senate Secretary and Minister of Youth and Sports and uh, Support of ICYF in Bangladesh. And His Excellency Mr. Bim Maman Bey, the Foreign Secretary and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh again. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you in this closing ceremony of the next program, Dhaka Film Festival Awards under the Dhaka OSU Capital. We have listened fascinating speeches from all the speakers. And I cordially congratulate everyone who has done a great job, who has participated, who has applied, and who are the winners and all who are the participants also. And I want to also congratulate the jury uh, today and contributed to make this event happen. I do believe that this program will be the next successful program which is held under the back of our capital. Dear Excellencies, dear ladies and gentlemen, as a youth institution, ICYF has always attached importance to art and tried to include this kind of projects under the, its huge umbrella because we know that the message of uh, brotherhood, in, uh, brotherhood among the people and message, message of uh, uh, humanity can only be spread quickly and widely by using the art. And also we know that when young people are given opportunity to experiment with a range of art forms, self-esteem together with individual and social well-being can be enhanced. It's therefore critical that we do everything we can to unleash the full creative and artistic potential of our young people. And for our days, uh, for our time, the, maybe the most important branch of art is the film and filmmaking. So we want to let our young people to show their pieces and show their enthusiasm and show their emotions and ideas by these film festivals. In today's post-trap world, educating ourselves about important issues and finding varied and reliable information sources is a critical as ever. Recent events across the globe, coupled with how we obtain, share, and duplicate needs of this events demands that we step up and seek our current source of information about our world and what is happening in it. Documentary films are in depth and information resources, which are a perfect platform to create dialogue. They serve as a powerful tools that bring important topics to the table in a captivating way that also spark conversation and sometimes even social movements. Not only do documentaries provide an opportunity to understand and to connect with the world, they are also a great way to gather together with friends to watch and engage around the important issues of our times. Watching more documentaries is important, but talking about them together in person is equally important. That's why I believe this platform, which was created for our talented young brothers and sisters, will achieve its goals and will be global platform to the filmmakers where they can connect with other young and energetic filmmakers. DACA Film Festival was included within the programs of DACA uh, YC Youth Capital with great pleasure and eagerly. 
because we and beyond uh, uh, from enabling undiscovered and upcoming filmmakers to expose their works and artistic skills to the greater community. The festival's objectives are expanding and valuing short film in the short film in Islamic support to discover hidden tales and creativity to filmmakers and showcase them, encourage you to adapt techniques and develop their ideal skills to encourage more young people across the globe. I believe we will discover various talented filmmakers take this program and we will come with great results. So I'm sure that this program will be so magnificent just like the other ones in the context of Dhaka or Sri Kaka. Dear Excellencies, dear ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call our young participants from awardees who joined this platform from Asia, Africa, America, Europe, Australia, Middle East, and Bangladesh regions for their great efforts and for performing their talent. With all the programs we've been through until today, has us to discover hundreds of talented youths and to gain those young brothers and sisters. That's why we will maintain to realize our mission and our goals and objectives as we have been doing from the very first day firmly. I do hope this program for uh, you. And I wish the best of our luck to our young people in Rome and in their future lives and wish our young people at last they deserve. And I want also to thank again for our jury members who had done a great job because I know that there are so many nominees and parties selecting the awardees among them is a very hard job. We at CYF as a youth institution will keep doing our best for them. While, uh, while reiterating profound thanks to you all, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us success in our new programs and projects. Thank you very much for everybody and ma'asalaam. Uh, Ma'asalaam alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency, Mr. Taha Ayhan, for your wonderful speech. Ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to invite His Excellency, Dr. Muhammad Murad Hassan, MP, on. Today's chief guest, His Excellency, Dr. Muhammad Hassan Mahmoud, MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Guests of Honor, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, His Excellency, Muhammad Jahid Hassan Rasul MP, Special Guest, Honorable President, Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, His Excellency, Excellency Taha Ayhan. Special Guest, Senior Secretary, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, His Excellency, Muhammad Akhtar Hussain, Chair of the Today's Ceremony, Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, His Excellency, Muhammad Mukbul Hussain, Honorable Jury Members, Journalists, Delegates, Excellencies, participants, youth delegates, volunteers, and all the dignitaries. Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullah. And a very good afternoon to all of you. To start with my speech, I would like to quote from one of the greatest lines of our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Once he said, Political and economic freedom is meaningless without cultural freedom. Therefore, Bengal's own literature culture will be developed by embracing the happiness, peace, and dreams and hopes and aspirations of the masses centered on the land and the people. Believing in his ideology, I can claim to have the practice and in culture, Bangabundu, what suggested to us. And our culture solely reflects the happiness, 
peace, dreams, and aspirations of our people, our land, our rivers, our professions to say, overall, it reflects us. Honorable Presence, Father of the Nation, Banga Bandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman took charge of the state at a critical juncture in history. During his short regime of three and a half years, he has done a lot of the welfare for Islam and Muslims, the benefits of which we are still enjoying as a nation. During his role, Bangladesh became a member of the organization of the Islamic International Conference in 1974. Bangabandhu established the Islamic Foundation for the propagation of Islam in post-independent Bangladesh. He donated space for the Kakrail Mosque to conduct the preaching activities of the Tablik Jamaat and arranged for the first Tablik Jamaat to be sent to the Soviet Union. The land of world is tema in Tongi, government grant for the Bangladeshi pilgrims and purchase of Hezbollah Bahar ships for Hajj to at low cost and sending the first Hajj, Hajj pilgrims from Bangladesh. Establishment of Bangladesh Sirat Majlish, reorganization of Bangladesh Madrasa Education Board, Quran recitation on Betar, television, and Sadbay, Sadbay. He has done many such things for the welfare of Islam and Muslims, including declaring public holidays on the occasion of Sabi Qadar, Shabi Barat, banning alcohol, gambling, housewives, and anti-social activities, and providing for punishment, banning horse racing. Distinguished guests, the way the father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, has dedicated himself to the service of Islam, his worthy daughter, Honorable Prime Minister Kasina, has established a mosque-based mosque children's and mass education program, mosque library, and Darul Arkham in the propagation of Islam, including increasing the social status of scholars and ulama, providing equivalent of masters to Daura Hadith, establishment of Islamic Arabic University, expansion of Islamic foundation activities at district and upojela level, provision of loans, grants to imams and muachins, through establishment of Imam Muachin Welfare Trust, management of Holy Quran doing. As a landmark step of our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, 560 model mosques and Islamic cultural centers will be constructed across the country at an estimated cost of Taka, 9,000 crore, which is the instance among the whole world, what is being established, designed, and planned by our Honorable Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina. She is the only leadership among the all Muslim countries of the world. Following this, the Prime Minister inaugurated 50 model mosques and Islamic cultural centers already on June 10, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, our youth are represented, representing our country to the world from every sector. That is clearly depicted by the performance of our youth in these mega events under this initiative of Dhaka OIC Youth Capital 2020-2021. Like all other competition in this competition titled Dhaka YC Youth Capital Film Awards, our young filmmakers have clearly stood out with their work 
among the best young filmmakers around the world. Seeing these, their films, I can certainly say that in near future, we will be having a more compact film industry in our country. I want to thank Islamic Corporation Youth Forum, ICYF, for arranging this company and providing youth around the world a platform to share their culture, knowledge, and create a youth network among the Muslim filmmakers. I also want to thank all the other ministries who have associated and helped us to host this competition successfully. I want to specify that without the help of so many people behind the stage who has worked tirelessly in organizing this event. Lastly, to the eyes of this event, the participants around the entire world, I want to thank all of you for your enthusiastic participations and the judges who had gone through this tough process of picking the best out of the best. Finally, I want to thank you everyone. Thank you very much. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabundhu, may Bangladesh live forever. Thank you, Honorable State Minister, for sharing your experience with us. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to virtually welcome our special guest of the ceremony, His Excellency Muhammad Zahid Ahsan Rossell MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh to live today's ceremony with his inspiration words. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Zahid Ahsan Rossell MP. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Today's chief guest, His Excellency Dr. Hassan Mahmoud MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. A special guest, His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Murad Hassan MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. His Excellency Taha Ihan, Honorable President of Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum. Mr. Mr. Mohammed Akhtar Hussein, Senior Secretary, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Chair of today's program. Mr. Mahmoud Mokbul Hussein, Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Honorable jury members, journalists, delegates, excellencies, participants, youth delegates, volunteers, and all dignitaries. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good one to you all. Distinguished guest, in this year of Golden Jubilee of Independence and the birth of the father of the name, I would like to remember with great honor the greatest of time, poet of politics, the great architect of our independence, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mudman. With whose full hearted leadership, we achieved our independence by the sacrifice of millions lives and honor of million mothers and sisters of this country. I would also like to express my sincere gratitude to the Honorable Prime Minister of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, the mother of humanity, Sheikh Hasina, who is currently leading Bangladesh towards becoming, becoming, a, becoming a developed country and a golden bangle. Excellency, the Prime Minister Her Excellency Sheikh Hasina is youth loving, dynamic, and visionary affirmative leader under whom Bangladesh is advancing more and more and highly committed to build a developed Bangladesh by 2041. We have already advanced a lot and stepped into middle income country. In this journey, the Ministry of Youth and Sports is continuing its utmost efforts to build a globally competent youth force through better education, training, sporting and financial assistance approaches. Distinguished guest, our great leader, the legendary hero of his story, father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, used to believe in democracy, in freedom of speech and freedom of dreaming. 
believing in this ideology. I was representative of the citizen of this country, try to reflect this, his ideology in my work and put efforts to encourage creative minds to practice our original culture and represent Bangladesh around the world. To imply that practice film media is a widely known and recognized platform in its crafting almost every aspect of culture, cultural practice is touched. Film is a powerful art form in, in the present world. Sometimes it helps us see the reflection of society. Sometimes it helps us dream beyond the imagination. Dear audience, the history of Bangladeshi film industry has been embraced with the beautiful craft and masterpieces our legends created through the art medium of film. By idolizing them, and following the path they have created. Our youth are bringing positive changes in the film industry as well as in society. I would also like to say that youth from Bangladesh are also achieving many international awards as well as being recognized around the global and local audience by filmmaking. To ensure the freedom of speech of the Bangladeshi filmmakers and nurturing them to explore the Portion of creativity. Our government is always supportive. As a result, the change is visible and the golden era of Bangladeshi film is now taking place. Dear audience, there is no doubt to say that the entire world is going through this disaster caused by the outbreak of COVID-19 virus. Bangladesh is not an exception to that. As a result, it has been a long time since here the whole country was imposed to the lockdown. People are staying home and adapting to digital technology. They are, they are working from home. Whereas young people, especially the students are being damaged the most as the educational institution are closed since the beginning of the lockdown. It is also causing damage to their mental health. Our government is working tirelessly, not only to recover the health and economic damage of COVID-19, but also trying to engage the youth in educational and recreational activities in every possible way, giving equal priorities. Distinguished guest, Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum is an international non-commercial, non-partisan organization affiliated by YC. Uniting leading umbrella youth organization from the member states of the organization of Islamic Cooperation as well as international youth organization operating in the YC region. And youth organizations representing significant Muslim minorities worldwide. In continuation to that, I believe this initiative by ICY and YC of recognizing the youth filmmakers around the world, especially from Muslim community, have encouraged the youth by bringing young filmmakers around the world to one platform has enabled a strong network among them that will enhance the knowledge and ex expertise of the filmmakers in the future. It will also help them to realize and see through diversified culture and in different views. With the learning and experience through this journey, young filmmakers will be able to understand different norms and practices among different societies across the globe. Having said that, I firmly believe you, we have enthusiastically participated in this program, have gathered valuable knowledge and ex experienced the versatility to storytelling through film that they will exhibit in their career. Excellencies, we hope, we hope that this event will help us to achieve largely some of the targets of YC and ICY. We, ha we have about 53 million of youth resulting to demographic dividend, which can also act as driving force for the development of the YC member states. The youth are always capable for promoting cultures and traditions in an innovative way, strengthening the brotherly ties and promoting the spirit of unity. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express thanks to YC and ICY once again for selecting Dhaka as the YC Youth Capital 2020. 
I also convey my gratitude towards other delegates and excellencies for their generosity. Finally, let me appreciate all of you for your awesome response in spite of COVID-19 situation. We hope YCU Capital 2020 program will be a very successful one with all our support and cooperation from all of you. I hope to organize the closing ceremony of Dhaka YCU Capital program with physical presence of all awards winning awards winners, high level delegates of YC member states, including youth delegates and other distinguished guests. I'm eagerly waiting to welcome you, welcome you all to celebrate that closing ceremony in Dhaka. I want to thank Ministry of Information and Broadcasting and everyone who has put in their efforts to organize Dhaka YC Youth Capital 2020. I would like to express my sole gratitude to the honorable guests, jury members, organizers, participants, and every stakeholders of Dhaka YC Film, Film Award 2020 and 2021 for successfully completing this journey. Thank you everyone. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabundhu, May Bangladesh live forever. May Bangladesh, ICYF ties live forever. Thank you all. Thank you, Honorable State Minister, His Excellency Mohammed Zahid Hassan Russell MP for your inspirational words. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. It is now time to declare the name of the grand winners of the Taka OIC Yacht Capital Film Award 2020-2021. To do the honor, first, I would like to virtually invite our special guest, Honorable President of the Islamic Cooperation Yacht Forum, ICYF, His Excellency Mr. Taha Aihan, to declare the second runner-up winner of the global phase of the Taka OIC Yacht Capital Film Award 2021. Uh, thank you very much uh, for giving me the floor again to declare the second awardee. Um, I, I have to ask for my friends to share me the information about who is the second awardee for me to declare. So, uh, may I ask the information about the name and the awardee to declare? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mohammed Feki Bey is a... Filmmaker Mohammed Feki, Region Africa, Country Tunisia. Now I would like to request our Honorable State Minister for the Ministry of Youth and Sports, for the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, His Excellency Mr. Zahid Asan Russell MP, to virtually declare the first runner-up winner of the global phase of the Taka OIC Youth Capital Film 2021. Thank you very much. The first runner-up of the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Award 2020-21 is Muhammad Sabir for the documentary story of a black river. He's from Bangladesh. Congratulations to Mr. Sabir for winning.
Now the moment we all have been waiting for. It is now time to declare the champion of the global phase of the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Award 2021. And to do the honor, please welcome our chief guest of today's ceremony, His Excellency Dr. Hassan Mahmoud MP, Honorable Minister for the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. <laughs> Now I declare the champion of the event, Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Award 2020-21. That goes to Mohamed Bajbe for the documentary, The Westerly Fort. He's from Turkey, region Middle East. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister, His Excellency, Dr. Hassan Mahmoud MP for doing the honor for us and congratulations to all the winners of this platform. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my privilege to request our chief guest of today's ceremony, Honorable Minister for the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, His Excellency Dr. Hassan Mahmoud MP, to compliment today's ceremony by delivering his kind speech. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our Honorable Minister, His Excellency Dr. Hassan Mahmoud MP. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Honorable Chair of the session, the Secretary of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting of Bangladesh, Mr. Makbul Hussain, Honorable Special Guest, the State Minister for Youth and Sports of Bangladesh, Mr. Jaid Hassan Russell MP, Honorable Special Guest, State Minister for Information and Broadcasting of Bangladesh, Dr. Murad Hassan MP, Honorable President of the Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, ICYF, Mr. Taha Ayhan, Honorable Secretary of Youth and Sports, Mr. Akhtar Hussain, Senior Secretary of Youth and Sports, Ministry of Bangladesh. Ladies and gentlemen, and all the people who are connected virtually, I congratulate you all. First of all, my gratitude to Almighty Allah who has given us the chance to be here with good health and without any trouble. And I want to register my thanks to the organizing committee of this event, OIC Youth Award, FLIM Award 2020-21. I want to congratulate and I want to register my thanks to them all who has done this tremendous job during the, this pandemic situation. And I want to register my thanks to OIC Youth Forum to select Dhaka as the Youth Capital 2020. Indeed, film is a medium of art that comprises many parts of the art and culture. Film is the reflection of the society. Flame is the picture of the society. A flame can make people happy, can make people crying. A flame represents the picture of that time when the flame is made and preserve the society of that time when the flame is made. Flame can direct the people to the right direction. Flame can make a vital role, can play a very vital role in making the society, in making the country. If we go back to our self-rule movement and independence movement, we see many film in our history, many film in our history of Bangladesh has played very vital role 
in our self-rule movement, in our independence movement. Even after the independence of Bangladesh and our founding father, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the greatest Bengali of all time, asked the people to play a role and asked the film maker to play a role in making the new country and to realize the dream of the uh, uh, our uh, martyrs and the people who fought for this country, then many film makers came forward and made many film that played very vital role in Bangladesh to direct the nation to the right direction in making this country over the last couple of years, many film makers have played very vital role. And we see a film award and film festival indeed is very important to direct the people, youth people to the right direction. Youths are the blessing for any country. Youths are the dividend for any country. Youths are the leaders of the future. And youth will lead this world in future. So to direct the youth people, young people, to the right direction is very important. And for that, film can make, can play a very vital role. Today, what is happening in this planet Earth, what is happening in this world, the people are becoming day by day self-centered. People are always thinking for them, for himself, for herself. People are not even thinking for his family, for his extended family, for the society, for the distressed people, for, for the people who are helpless. People are not thinking for them. And people are day by day becoming like inert material. People are losing humane character. Human are losing humane character. We have progressed a lot. Human in this planet over the last 100 years, for the last 55 decades, six decades, we have progressed a lot. We have gone to the moon. We are trying to go to the Mars. Maybe 100 years later, people will go to the Mars, even earlier could be, because there is an organization, there is an organization in Netherlands have asked for application who wants to go to Mars, uh, giving one way journey. They will bring you to the Mars. They will not give you the return ticket. And applications, there are so many applications till today. And uh, they will start, I think, 2000, uh, in, in 2040 or 2041, uh, 20 years later from today. And so many applications, uh, 10 times more application than their capacity. So people are very eager to go to the Mars. We have progressed a lot. But over the last few decades, we have lost our humane character. We are becoming day by day like inert material. So to protect the human for not becoming like inert material, film can play a very vital role. Flame can play a vital role in protecting the human character of human. I believe that YC Flame Festival, in this respect, can play a very vital role. And YC Flame Festival will invent and will play a vital role in making world famous flame makers in future. That which flames will lead the people to the right direction. To that direction, people will progress. And at the same time, people will protect their humane character. People will extend their hand for the distressed people in future. People will think for others. People will think for helpless people. I think flame can play a very vital role in this respect. And Waste Flame Festival will make like, will, will make, will invent like this film makers in future. And uh, also we see film festival will play a very vital role in strengthening the brotherhood among the OIC countries. By these few words, I want to conclude here. Thanks to you all. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangla. Thank you so very much, our honorable minister for ushering your blessings for the young filmmakers and for your bolstering speech. Ladies and gentlemen, now to conclude today's ceremony, 
I would like to welcome our chairperson of today's program, His Excellency Mohammed Mokbul Hussein, Secretary, Minister of Information and Broadcasting of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, to share his experience of hosting this event with us. Ladies and gentlemen, um, right after the speech of our Excellency, I would request all our honorable guests to please take your seat at the audience as we are going to see the top three films that has been, uh, that has won today's platform on this big screen. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. It is my great privilege and pleasure to offer you a warm welcome to everyone connected with the Dhaka YC Youth Capital Film Festival 2020-21 on behalf of the Minister of Information and Broadcasting, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Your very virtual and physical gracious presence is inspiring. Today's chief guest, His Excellency, Dr. Hassan Mahmoud MP, Honorable Minister, Minister of Information and Broadcasting, Government of People's Republic of Bangladesh. Honorable Special Guest, His Excellency, Mohammad Zahid Hassan Rasel MP, Honorable State Minister, Minister of Youth and Sports, Special Guest, Honorable State Minister, Minister of Information and Broadcasting, His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Murad Hassan MP. And His Excellency Taha Ayyan, Honorable President, Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, is connected us as a special guest from Turkey. Senior Secretary, Minister of Youth and Sports, His Excellency Mohammad Akhtar Hussain, respected jury members, journalists, participants, film directors, film actors, eminent cultural personalities, my dear fellow feelings, and ex-secretary, Minister of Information and Broadcasting, Ms. Kamal Nahar. Assalamu alaikum and very good afternoon. Beginning my space, I would like to express my gratitude to the father of the nations, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, who sacrificed his life for the betterment of the people of Bangladesh, and under whose leadership he liberated our beloved country. The Dhaka YC Youth Capital Film 2020-21 international program has added a new dimension to the year-long birth centenary celebration of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman under the visionary leadership of our Prime Minister, the daughter of Bangabandhu Sheikh Hasina MP. Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Award 2020-21 is one of the nine cultural events of the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital 2020 International Program. The Ministry of Information and Broadcasting has led in organizing this prestigious event. We are grateful to Ministry of Youth and Sports of Bangladesh and Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum for giving us the responsibility to organizing this film festival event. Film is in general are great mediums of connecting people and it is a 
valuable form of art. However, short films have its own significance. They allow often coming talents the chance of to get noticed and refine their style. Also through short films, filmmakers are encouraged in new ways of telling stories and portraying their creativity and innovation. International Corporation Youth Forum has been uplifting young filmmakers in exposing their arts, and this platform would help highlighting the necessity of short films in Islamic countries and on a whole works as a tools for bringing peace and prosperity globally with the collective force of the young filmmakers. Dear President, ICYF Highness Taha Ihan, Minister of Information and Broadcasting has constituted 11 member film implementation committee on October 2020, headed by additional secretary, administration and film. Since then, the member of the committee are working relentlessly to make the event a great success. We had also declared a program timeline for registration and submission of the film through online platform. The deadline for film submission was April 2021. Despite COVID-19 pandemic situation, we received huge response from the youth filmmakers. A total of 223 short films submitted for Dhaka YC Youth Capital Film Award from six geographical regions. On the basis of the general rules and regulations for participation, a strong committee primarily selected 110 documentary films eligible for the contest. Congratulations and best wishes to all of you who have participated in the festival by submitting their films and own the prize in different categories. I sincerely thank you all for listening to me. I express my sincere thanks and gratitude to my chief guest, a special guest, and Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum President, Highness Taha Ayhan, for selecting Dhaka as the YC Youth Capital 2020 International Program. I also express my thanks to the jury boards for their tremendous hard work. I see YF representatives, head of the departments, journalists from print and electronics medium and other related to the ceremony. We employed our all out efforts and sincerity to make Dhaka YC Youth Capital Film Award 2021 a grand success. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabundu. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much, sir. May I now request our honorable guests to kindly take your seat at the audience. We shall now watch the three masterpieces that won the award in Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Award 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, 
May I now invite you all to watch the masterpiece that won the championship of Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Film Award 2021. Starting from the second runner-up, the first film to be viewed here is France 1911 by Mohamed Feiki from the region Africa, country Tunisia. <laughs> ذات يوم قالت لي أمي إذا سرت جنديا سوف تصبح جنرالا وإذا سرت راهبا سوف تصبح باب الفاتيكان بدلا من هذا كله سرت رساما وأصبحت بيكاسو لماذا أنت متضايق وكل رسوماتك لم يسرق منها شيء؟ يؤلمني أنهم لم يسرقوا شيئا من لوحاتي الثمينة ما ذنب هؤلاء؟ ذنبهم ليس السرقة ذنبهم الجهل بقيمة لوحاتي الشهيرة الرسم لغة العقول مرآة عاكسة لنور الحقيقة بعيدا عن الوهم والتقاليد الغريبة تقليدك للآخرين هو ضرورة أما أن تقلد نفسك فهذا مثير للشفقة الرسم مرآة ناطقة بكل صخب الواقع ناطقة بالحقيقة الكونية الجلية أمامنا نزيف ألوان الوجع على قماش تراجيديا أبدية في اللوحة تسمع صوت الرحشة والرجفة ترى البشر بدون أسماء ولا ألوان مجردين من القيود والحدود مرآة تعكس حزننا الذي لم يترك في الصدر متسع لشيء حزن أسرق قارس البرودة ومنعدم الضوء حزن الذي لا يشرق في سمائه شيء إننا هنا بين أوجاع الألوان كيف لم يستفزهم كل هذا البوح ألم تعنيهم الحقيقة ألم يقدروا قيمة كل هذه الرسائل المعاناة لما لم يسرقوا شيئا من لوحاتي لو سرقوا كنت ساشعر بقيمه اعمالي لما اختاروا ان يكونوا اغبياء
ذات يوم قالت لي أمي إذا سرت جنديا سوف تصبح جنرالا وإذا سرت راهبا سوف تصبح باب الفاتيكان بدلا من هذا كله سرت رساما وأصبحت بيكاسو of the first runner-up and the film title is Story of a Black River. Filmmaker Muhammad Sabir, region Bangladesh, country Bangladesh. River, Gazipur, Bangladesh. Once a mighty river dying a slow but obvious death. River pollution has been one of the main talked about topics in the environmental issue of urban Dhaka. There are about 149 tanneries in Hazarabagh which generates about 18,000 liters of liquid and about 115 metric tons solid waste on a daily basis, almost all of which get discharged into the river Turak. Examples of such pollutants include cyanide, zinc, lead, copper, cadmium, and mercury. A huge population is living surrounding this river. Their lifestyle is deeply connected to her. The ecosystem of Turak is ruined and no aquatic life is surviving. But somehow, people are still continuing with their life around this dying river. Wasted effort by the filmmaker Mohammed Bosby from the region Middle East country Turkey.
ability to entertain us, to educate us, and of course, to make us feel human. Ladies and gentlemen, those were the three films that has been awarded in this platform. Wishing all the winners a very warm congratulations and best of luck for the future endeavor. And with this, I would like to conclude today's ceremony. It is now time to say goodbye. Thank you each and everyone for making the ceremony a successful one. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.